The following tutorial is brought to you by wholeloops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Reels Puppet in the game. Today, I'm showing you how to use vocal samples inside of Serum. We've got four different samples from Kara that she recorded through an iPhone, and we've got them running through the Ableton tuner because the pitch is gonna be very useful later. Let's take a listen to the samples. Dumb. Bring it back. So we're gonna drop this in, and knowing that it's playing one constant pitch, I'm gonna choose the constant frame size pitch average. Now there's some vibrato, but that's all right. We're going to choose the pitch average. So I'm going to drop it here. I don't hear anything yet because it's not scrolling through the sample. We're going to use LFO one to make the sample scroll as we hold our key down. And let's have it be an envelope. And instead of a BPM, let's try having it be one second. Now the next thing that I like to do to these samples is open them up here in the wavetable editor and start out by deleting any empty frames in the beginning that might make it feel like there's a delay. So you can just hit the minus key. What I do like to do in this menu is normalize each gained separately. So that which means it's going to take every individual frame and make it full volume. It sounds good up until it ends and then it doesn't really sound like a voice anymore. Let me go up an octave. So let's have it loop. So to have a loop, we need a loop back point. So I'm gonna right click on this point that I just created and say, this is the loop back point. Now it's closer, but I could still hear where the loop turns around. So let's try using this middle line as a turnaround point and see if it makes our loop back point a little bit more disguised. They all seem to work well together as long as the loop back and the final point match up. So that's sounding pretty good. Let's see if we could slow it down. Sometimes making it slower sounds worse, sometimes better. That sounds pretty cool. Another thing I like to do is use this noise oscillator to create a second layer of it. And we could just drag the same sample right into here. But we have to tell it that it's got to go down too. And it'll just keep looping when you do it like this, or you can have it set to forwards only. Now there's a little bit of a high frequency buzzing that you get when you turn samples into a synth and we could just filter that out a little bit. And we can even have a macro knob controlling the natural sample. So let's just tell macro one to be called natural and this will control how much of this raw sample we're hearing here in the noise oscillator. have our first patch made up. Let's just process it a little bit. I think some hyper dimension. We can even create a vibrato by using LFO2 here in the matrix. And let's just do this up to two, like the slightest amount you possibly can. And this is going to be global master tuning and the aux source is going to be macro two. We can also create a cutoff knob here by sending macro three to the word filter. Now I'm going to go grab some MIDI for this to play. So I'm going to head to the whole loops, MIDI packs, and let's use pop and progressions two. 
and let's see what this sounds like. That's going to be our first preset. Let's create another serum instance and let's drop in our next sample. And this is another straight note. Dum. And let's try, let's do our BPM off and let's do one second. Dum. 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 Go in here and let's do Dum. 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 zero fundamental phase. Dum. 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 Let's also tell it what note it's singing, Dum. which is gonna be a D3. Dumb. That'll help the algorithm know what the pitch of the sample you just imported is. Dumb, 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 dumb. To mix this, I'm definitely going to use a long reverb because that's going to send it to the background right away. Dumb, 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 dumb. And let's follow it up with a distortion. Dumb, 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 dumb. One of my favorite things about doing effects in Serum is being able to throw these dumb. envelopes on distortion parameters. Dumb, dumb. Distortion is a great little transient control when you don't have a dedicated transient control. So putting an envelope on the drive like this will help give a click when we don't even really have a click there in the sample. Of course, a little parallel compression. Put this at the bottom of the chain. Sounding cool. Let's use envelope two to do a nice sharp attack here on the high shelf. Dum, 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 dum. And let's even use it to do gain. Dum, 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 dum. But instead of going that way, let's do a dip. Dum, dum, dum. And we can even use our filter now that we haven't used our filter yet. Let's actually put this as the first dum, thing. Dum, dum, dum. First thing I want to do is filter it. And let's use the high filter. And let's filter everything beneath 90 out. Dum, 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 dum. A little bit of gain to make up for it. Dum, 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 dum. And now we're going to use a filter here in the front page of Serum. And let's drag envelope 2 on it. Give it some motion. Dum, dum, dum. Let's add our noise oscillator to it. Dum, dum, dum. And let's connect this to macro 2. Call this natural. That way we got an option of our wavetable voice or our natural voice. Do you love vocal samples in your beats? Do you get lost in all those confusing knobs and oscillators in your synths? Introducing Cara for Serum, my organic collection of over 100 vocal serum presets to inspire your beats. Cara for Serum is available now at holeloops.com. So let's see what we can play over our chords. I like that a lot. So we're going to call this our pluck chords. I might even hit this with some more delays just to send it even more into the background because that's probably how I would mix it if it was just a regular vocal anyways. I even want my reverbs to bounce a little bit. So I'm going to have an eighth note bounce going on these things. And let's have this going on the reverb wet dry. When you're using speech in Serum, there's really only one good algorithm that I found retains what you're saying. And again, you only get two seconds or so to sample. Let's take this. Bring it back. And let's drop this into Serum. I'm going to use the FFT256. And again, we're just going to tell it to move with envelope one. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, back, bring it back, bring it back. And for this, we're actually going to use the BPM rate. Bring it back. Bring it back. 
Let's turn the sustain mode down so this is more like a one shot and let's put this all the way up. Bring it back. And let's just figure out. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring Bring it back. Bring it Bring it back. Let's try OTTing this to help it not sound so muffled. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. And let's try a filter. Let's low cut it with this. So that would be our little background voice. And now we have our fourth sample. Let's create a serum for it. And since this is a straight note, singing the D, we're just gonna drag this in the constant, tell it that it is D in the fourth octave. And let's create an envelope for this one. And I want this to be a perpetually looping envelope. So I'm gonna create a loop back point envelope mode set this as the loop back here and let's try creating an endpoint that matches the loop back point we can have the sample start later that's kind of like chopping the beginning off a little shortcut Editor. Little glide on there. never even record myself anymore. I just jam out and hit this button in Ableton. It's incredible. So now we've got all four of our vocal patches here. Let's go ahead and arrange this out into a beat. So I'm gonna go and grab the drum kits from Whole Loops and let's grab a disrespectful 808. Start out with our bass line. And let's drop this onto a new channel. And I'm just gonna borrow the MIDI from here. And we could just take everything down here. Let's fold it and go up a couple octaves. So let's add a couple more instances of Serum. Let's try using some of the effects from in here too. So I'm gonna pull up some of the finished effects that we made from Care for Serum. Let's try Rise Up. See what other things we can add from this pack. Let's try the hey chant. Ooh, definitely using that one. Let's see what else we can find in here. A couple little garnishes already made in the Kara for Serum Sound Bank, available at wholeloops.com and Splice if you have a Splice account. Let's see what else we got. Throw that in there. Big reverb. So I've pulled in a couple more effects from Care for Serum, the finished Serum Bank, and we've turned all four of our vocal samples into Serum presets. Let's take a listen to our finished beat. Hey. 
So there you have it, how to turn vocal samples into serum presets. If you want to check out the finished Kara for Serum Bank, including over 100 vocal serum presets, check out the link for wholeloops.com or Splice, and I'll catch you guys next time in another tutorial. Peace out.